What's up everybody? My name is Vindrake from Cat's Cozy Games. And today we're going to show you the Industrial Alchemy Tower. This is from the add-on mod called Twist Space in GTNH. And it basically does crucible crafting. We're going to show you how to set it up. We're going to show you how to energize the nodes inside to the exact amount that you need in order to get it working very, very quickly. And before you know it, you're going to be crucible crafting in style. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, first thing we're going to do is go over how to assemble this multi-block. Um, if I would recommend using the hologram projector and you're going to need all the materials in your inventory, unless you have the uh, wireless terminal, in which case I would highly recommend using the GT underscore no hatch uh, value one so that you don't get hatches and stuff randomly placed in the multi-block. Um, there were a couple of problematic blocks to place. <laughs> Mainly these right here, these electric clouds. Basically, you have to place a niter down and you have to take a large lithium battery. You take the large lithium battery and you basically right click the niter and it turns into the electric cloud. Um, as far as your hatches go, if you look at the tooltip of this multi block, it says infusion provider and it even tells you at the top of the tooltip infusion supplier to supply essence however it's not called infusion supplier it's called infusion provider and you just put that into one of the magic casings and then you hook it up to applied energistics uh of course this guide is assuming that you have aspects in the essentia storage cells like so so let's come back over here and then you can basically just do an output bus ME and then we're just using a normal input bus HV with an ME interface and then I have a recipe right here for thomium ingot, iron ingot and I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Oh also by the way the other hatches um, I have EV energy hatch double here um, because we don't have an IV energy hatch in our current playthrough. So we have double EV energy hatch because if you look at the recipe for thomium ingot and you scroll over here to industrial alchemy tower, uh, you make sure you have circuit one, by the way. Um, I believe a lot of these recipes are circuit one. Yeah, it does seem that way. Um, it requires IV power minimum. So obviously the more power that you have available to this, um, I, I'm pretty sure that this overclocks. I'm actually not 100% sure. I haven't tested it on myself. Um, but mainly the speed is, involves these nodes that you put inside. And we're going to go over those. That's probably the hardest part of setting this thing up. But uh, we have double EV energy hatch. And if I request a thomium ingot in its current state, which is without the nodes, actually we have one of the four nodes in there, but um, it's still going to be very slow. And so if I request that, yeah, 34 seconds per thomium ingot. This is very, very bad, right? <laughs> Um, and it's because we're getting a massive speed penalty because we don't have the nodes um, proper in here. Now I'll show you what I've got in here so far if I can get up in there. Uh, we have one of the four energized nodes that we need. So as you can see it places these nose transducers and uh, stabilizers. And we have an Ignis. And so it turns out if you look at the tooltip, um, you need air, fire, entropy, and order. And so you're going to need a bunch of these ethereal essences. You're going to need Ignis, Ordo, Perdicio, and Air. And the best way to get these, at least uh, in my portion of the game, where we're in like the beginning of stages of IV, is you're going to want to make a mob farm. Uh, one second. Mob, uh, I'm just going to my mob farm area. Uh, you're going to want to make a mob farm with a powered spawner with a wisp. You put a corporeal attractor. <laughs> And you make sure that you put a redstone signal underneath it. And you can right click it and pull it into like push or pull mode. And you want pull mode. And then you put your powered spawner as a wisp. If you don't know how to do that, you basically take a wisp um, soul vial and you put it together with a broken spawner. Then you can put a powered spawner from Ender IO, like so, and put the broken spawner and in an anvil with the powered spawner. And that will give you this. You can just power this with correct tech cable or Ender IO conduit one or the other. And then we've got some of these right here, these thomic relocators, just so when the wisps swan, they get attracted to it, it kind of pushes them down onto the diamond spikes. And then we're just collecting stuff with an advanced item collector. And then I've got it so that we only collect the ethereal essence. So meta data matched and ignore NBT data. And that will collect all of these ethereal essences. These are going to be key for, oops, 
These are going to be key for making the nodes and making them exactly the amount of V that you want. Because what's important about this multi-block is that you want an exact amount of V. You want each of these to say 10 exactly. As you can see on the tooltip there, 10 Ignis. And the way you're going to do that uh, is with something... Let me clear out my inventory first. Goodness, goodness. Um, the way you're going to do that is with something called an ethereal shard. Now, I just requested one. And we've got three of them. Let's grab those. Um, I'm going to work on my next uh, node. So I'm going to grab the Ordo that we have. Got plenty. And we're going to grab actually 26. And I'll show you why in just a second. Um, you're also going to need a wand with at least 75 V in it. And then you're going to just need some glass and some wooden slabs, basic vanilla wooden slabs. And so what you're going to do is there's two different ways to go about this. I'm going to show you the way if you already have an energized aura node, which honestly, by this point, you should have this. Um, you should already be investing into Sen TV when you get to this point where you can make this twist space multi. So just put a V relay down like right about there, for example, and then we're going to place down the ethereal shard. Um, just on a bed of glass so we can jar this node in a bit. So our blank ethereal shard. And then we're going to put... I'm going to put an ethereal essence in here. And then we're going to watch. And if you look at the tooltip there, it says four ordo. Let me actually get my goggles on so you all can see better. All right. As you can see, I put one of these essence in here. And it gave this exactly four ordo. So one essence to four is the ratio. All right, so we're going to put a total, including the one that we put in there, we're going to put a total of 35 Ordo Ethereal Essence into this. This is going to give us a total of 140 for this. And each of these are going to be a different value. And I'll break it down for you in a little bit. Um, but we're just going to try the order one for now. You're going to need 35 Ordo again, 140 total. And we're going to let this go up and I'll be right back with you. By the way, if you're enjoying the content and you want more GTNH, please like the video and subscribe. And also, come watch me and my wife, Kat, stream GTNH every Monday through Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we're on a streaming channel called Cat's Cozy Games, and we're on all the streaming sites, Twitch, YouTube, and Kick. Hope to see you all there. And without further ado, back to the video. All right, there's our 140. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to surround this with glass. This is basically how you jar a node. We're going to put that right there. Then we're going to grab our spruce slabs or, you know, vanilla wooden slab of choice. Pop those on top. And then you're going to take a wand that has at least 75 V of all types. And then you're going to right click anywhere on the glass and boom, there it is. Node in jar order 140, exactly what we want. Let's take our node. Let's come up here, come inside of our alchemy tower and then you're going to put the node right here on top of the advanced node stabilizer you're going to right click with your wand onto the water jar that will release the node and then you're going to take a block of redstone and you're going to put it on top of the node transducer and that is going to start to stabilize the ore node and turn it into one of these energized nodes eventually and when we take a look at this in a moment, it should be 10V. If you ever make a mistake, by the way, and you need to get rid of this node for some reason, you can always get rid of the redstone block. Wait until this uh, de-energizes and goes back down to zero ordo, and then you can break it with your left hand, and it should be fine. All right, and there we go. We got our 10 ordo, fantastic. So we want to do this for each of the four nodes. And I'm going to do a little preparation off camera and we'll be back in just a moment and I'll show you how the rest of them are done. All right, I've done some work off screen and we've done it, everybody. We have gotten 10 on all of these energized aura nodes. Now I'm going to show you exactly how I did that because there were some different values, but uh, depending on which aspect we were talking about. So I calculated this. Basically, you're going to need Ignis, Ordo, Air, and Perdicio, right? You're going to need a 120 Ignis, a 140 Ordo, a 140 air and a 120 perdicio. And the way you get those is the method that I showed you before with the ethereal shard. And you're gonna need 30 ignis ethereal essence, 35 ordo, 35 air, and 30 perdicio. Now I'm not exactly sure why these values end up being different per aspect, but all I know is you get the magic number 10 on each of these. 
And so our craft should be much, much quicker now. Before we were 34 seconds. Make sure, uh, before you try this, that you hit update structure, because otherwise it's not going to register the fact that those new nodes are there. And so we updated, and then we went from 34 seconds to 2.95 seconds for each Thaumium ingot, which is amazing. So now not only are you going to be able to make Thaumium ingots, but pretty much uh, anything that is a crucible craft. If we take a look at the recipes here, there's, there's 917 different ones. And there's a couple that are circuit two, but the vast majority of these I've noticed are circuit one. At least most of the important ones are. And so, yeah, you can look through here and do this to your heart's content. Automate this very, very easily now. Now, the one other thing that I did want to mention is that you can increase the amount of parallels. If we look at the tooltip here, basically the tier of the multi-block uh, determines the parallels that are going to be involved. So basically, uh, it's going to be this right here, this novice essentia diffusion cell. This is the tier one version of the casing. And if we take a look at this uh, and we go current tier, this novice is going to change into adept, which is an IV hatch tier, master, grandmaster, and then all the way to, oh, it looks like grandmaster is the best. Yeah, so ZPM. So you're going to get more parallels that way. Uh, one other thing that I did want to show off real quick is, let me go into creative mode real quick. Um, I wanted to show you the other method, even though you should have sent EV by this point. And this method is kind of cool. I actually saw this from Duck. Shout out to Duck GTNH over on YouTube. And so we're going to take all this stuff here. We're going to put an ethereal shard right here. We're going to use something called an Essentia Dynamo. So what this does is you can put a jar of Essentia underneath it and then use a V relay nearby. And it will actually transfer, it will basically convert that Essentia into something that the Ethereal Shard can kind of use. Um, and so we do the exact same thing that we did before, where we take our 35 Ethereal Essence, because we want to make a 140 Ordo node in a jar. And we can right click all of that on here. So let's go ahead and do that. And then in my testing, I have found that the best way to get this done as quickly as possible, because depending on what jar of Essentia you put down here, it could be very, very slow. So we're going to take a warded jar and I'm going to go over to my Essentia terminal and we're going to grab Ordo itself. If you grab the actual aspect itself, I've noticed that it goes much, much quicker. And yeah, there we go. It's about the same speed that the Senti View was working at before. And depending on the conversion rate, you may need to put another jar of Ordo down there, uh, depending. But yeah, and then you jar it exactly as you did before once it gets to 140 and then you'll be good to go. And then you place it in here, do the whole redstone block thing once you release it with a, by right clicking with the wand and you are good to go. Uh, very nice multi-block. I'm looking forward to having this automated in the future. This is gonna make a lot of Thalmcraft stuff in the future so much easier. And you know what? It looks cool as well, right? This is a nice centerpiece for our, the inside of our Thalmcraft building. I'm very happy with this. One of the many joys of having twist space in this pack. And so if you enjoyed that, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel. And we will see you again for another tutorial very, very soon. Take care.